What is going on everyone, my name is Codemort and welcome back to Electronics episode 15. Now before we get started in today's episode, let's take a look back into episode number 7. Now in episode number 7, we were trying to find how much resistance we would need to protect our LED inside of a circuit. And we used this equation right here to calculate that. So we said that the resistance value in ohms, the value of resistor that we would need to put in our circuit to protect the LED is equal to the source voltage or basically our power source. So for me, I was using a nine volt battery minus the forward voltage of our LED, which could be found on your LEDs data sheet from whoever made your LED, all divided by the current that we wanted the LED to take up, which could also be found on your manufacturer's data sheet for your LED. Now this equation is actually a variation of one very, very important equation in electronics work. This equation is going to be the most important thing that you ever take out of this series, and that is called Ohm's Law. Now the equation above that I just scrolled up is actually a variation of Ohm's Law. Now Ohm's Law is actually this equation right here. V equals I R voltage equals current times resistance. Now I'm going to explain to you why this is super important, but for right now, let's take a look at this equation. Voltage equals current times resistance. Now if we did some very basic math that I hope that you guys should be able to do, if we just divide each side by R, we can figure out that current equals voltage divided by resistance. Or if we took this equation and divided each side by I, or by current, we could figure out that R, resistance, equals voltage divided by current. So these are the three equations that we can get from Ohm's law. So as long as we know two of these three variables, as long as we know voltage and resistance or current and resistance or some two variables, we can find the third one using one of these equations. So in our case, to find out the proper value resistor, we used this bottom equation, R equals V divided by I. If we scroll up to the original equation, we have R equals voltage, this is all voltage here, divided by I. So let me exactly explain how this all worked and why I got to that. Now Ohm's law is used to explain that we can solve for anything between two points. Now in our case, the two points was the entire circuit basically, the positive and negative terminal of the battery. And what we actually calculated was very simple. You just gotta think about it. Now for my LED, for my LED, of course this could be different, my LED could take a maximum of 3.2 volts. And it had, I think, 0.24 milliamps or something like that. I don't think that was actually it. But nonetheless, my LED could take a maximum of 3.2 volts and let's say 0.24 milliamps. And we knew that my battery, my battery, was a 9 volt battery. Now a 9 volt battery is way too much voltage for this LED. This LED would burn out and not work at 9 volts because it can only take a maximum of about 3.2 volts. So all we did in that equation was say, all right, we need something in our circuit that will take away the extra voltage from the battery. So if we take our 9 volts minus the 3.2 volts the LED needs, that gets us 5.8 volts. So we needed something in our circuit that would waste or take away 5.8 volts. That way the LED is left with its maximum 3.2 volts. So if we take a look at this a bit more closely, we know two of the variables. We know 5.8 volts, and we also know the current, the maximum current we want to run through our circuit, which in the example here is 0.24 milliamps. So we know current, we know I, we know voltage. So if we know voltage and I, we can solve for resistance. And to create resistance in our circuit, we use, of course, a resistor. So that will give us the value of resistor that we would need in our circuit. So that's a bit more in-depth of an explanation of kind of what we did in episode number seven with this equation here. But I don't want you to remember this equation here. I want you guys to remember Ohm's law, V equals IR, and also I equals V over R, or R equals V over I. With this equation, we can solve and test for so many things inside of our circuit. Now at first, Ohm's law might be a bit tricky to understand. You might have a bit of trouble understanding what values to put into what and why we need to solve for stuff. But throughout this series, you're going to learn exactly how to use it properly, and it's going to come as a natural instinct later on. But it's very important that you know this equation for the rest of the series and for any electronics work that 
that you do. I know these videos have been a bit boring so far doing a lot of diagram stuff, but I want to get this stuff out of the way before we do the actual exciting electronics work. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video.